Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this green square inside the right triangle as you can see in this figure. And moreover, the side lengths of this right triangle are 20 and 12. And now we are going to find the area of this uh, green square. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And in this tutorial, I will share with you two different methods. Before we proceed, let me make it very clear that this uh, figure may not be 100% true to the scale. And now let me show you the first method. And this method is going to be a shortcut method. And here's our very first step. Now let's recall the area of a square formula. Area equal to side square. If I call this side A, then all these sides going to be A as well. So therefore, the area of this square A is going to be simply A square. And here's our next step. Let me call this horizontal side of this triangle as an X and this vertical side of this right triangle as Y. Then here's our formula. The side length A is going to be equal to X times Y divided by X plus Y, where our X value is 20 and Y value is 12. Now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So A equals to X in our case is 20 times Y is 12 divided by 20 plus 12. So our A value turns out to be a 240 divided by 32. So our A value turns out to be 15 divided by 2. So thus our side length turns out to be 15 divided by 2. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this green square. And here's our area formula. Area equal to this lowercase a square. So where a value is 15 divided by 2. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So area equal to 15 divided by 2 square. So therefore our area turns out to be a 225 divided by 4. So thus the area of this green square turns out to be a 56.25 square units. Now let me share with you the second method. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and label these side lengths of this square. I'm going to call this side length A. Then all these side lengths are going to be a as well. Now we know that this whole side length of this triangle is 20 and this side length is lowercase a. Then this side length is going to be simply 20 minus a. Likewise this whole side length is 12 and this side length is lowercase a then this side length is going to be 12 minus a. And here's our next step. Let's focus on these two triangles, CFD and this triangle DEB. We can see that both of these triangles are right triangles. And moreover, if I call this angle alpha, then its corresponding angle alpha is going to be this one as well. And likewise, if I call this angle beta, then this angle is going to be beta as well, since they are corresponding angles. So therefore, we conclude that these two triangle, triangle CFD and the other triangle DEB are similar triangles. According to angle, angle similarity theorem, Two triangles are similar if they have two pair of corresponding angles that are congruent. 
And now since these two triangles are similar triangles, so we're going to have proportion. That means I can equate their ratios. So I can write this 12 minus A divided by this side A equal to this side A divided by this side 20 minus a now let's go ahead and cross multiply so therefore we can write 12 minus a times 20 minus a equal to we're gonna have a times a and now let's go ahead and do the double distribution we're gonna file them so this could be written as 240 minus 12a minus 20a plus a square and on the right hand side we got a times a is a square now let's go ahead and combine the like terms so this is going to become 240 and when we combine this thing that's going to give us negative 32a this a square and a square they are gone so we ended up with just simply zero let's move this uh, negative 32 a on the other side so we're gonna have a 240 equal to 32 a let's divide both side by 32 to isolate a so that mean our a value turns out to be 240 divided by 30 2 or if we reduce it our a value is going to be 15 divided by 2 and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this green square and here's the formula area equal to this lowercase a square where a value is 15 divided by 2 so let's go ahead and fill in the blank so area equal to 15 divided by 2 square so area is going to be 225 divided by 4 if we put it in a decimal form so area is going to be 56.25 so that's the area of this green square turns out to be 56.25 square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye